Hi guys. So today I'm going to be showing you how I get dewy, luminous skin. How I do my foundation to get that just glowing and fresh and young and awake look. Um, right now my skin is, just has a really big glare on it because it's oily because I put sunscreen on and then I have the light from my mirror and it's just like pew, reflecting off my forehead. So this is not, this is not the end result. Um, so I will hop into the video. I just want to say real quick, I've had the two worst eyeliner days of my whole life the last two days. I just, I like cannot, this one, this haunts my dreams. This one's okay, I guess. I recently purchased the, that's not it, the Pat McGrath Perma Precision Eyeliner Pen, and it's like really, like I saw a lot of people using it on YouTube, well I saw Jeffree Star review it, I saw one person, and he liked it, um, and it, I saw it swatch really well, I know Pat McGrath is an amazing brand with really high quality products, Pat McGrath is a genius makeup artist herself, so I was like really excited, I needed a new eyeliner, I was like, yes, this is gonna be so good, but it is just like, I can't use it, I feel like if you're good at eyeliner already, this would be an amazing eyeliner pencil. It's very, like, thin. It's very precise. Like, the payoff is super, like, look, it just, like, instantly, when it touches your skin, it's just, like, black as black. Um, I'm wasting the whole thing. Um, but if you're a little shaky, like, eyeliner is not my strong suit. I am afraid of doing winged eyeliner. I am avoiding doing a winged eyeliner tutorial because, like, I don't, what am I, who am I selling this look to? This is a good look. Um, oh my god, I don't even want to go out in public. It looks awful. Um, but this just because it is so thin, like, your mistakes show up, like, really, I keep having, like, way longer, like, wings than I mean to have because I keep trying to go in and fix it and I'm adding more and it's so dark and it has such a good payoff, like, it's just black, like, immediately when you touch it and it's, like, my eyes have just been looking crazy. I personally, like, I don't know if I showed you guys that already, but it's very fine. I prefer a more... This eyeliner pencil, I don't know what it is. My friend gave me, she was like, hey, this came in my birch box. I don't want it. Here. And it was the most glorious three months of my life. It, this was the best eyeliner. But look, it, like, it has no identity. It has no brand on it. It's a John Doe. Look at it. But this, this tip, this was where it was at for me. I would just, like, and just so quick in the morning, like, just have perfect winged eyeliner, but the, I don't know, maybe because it's so long, but I'm just, if anyone's considering buying it and you're kind of a beginner in the winged eyeliner area, I would hold off until you can truly appreciate it, because I think I'm going to take this back to Sephora, because I just can't, I can't be looking like this every day, this is, this is a problem, but I'm sorry that I go on tangents in the beginning of all my videos. I am going to start the tutorial now. Um, so I'm gonna, I washed my face, moisturized, put on sunscreen. Um, I'm gonna go in with primer. This is the Sisley Double Tincture Moisturizing Gel. Um, this is a very bougie primer. It's like $200 and I'm ridiculous for even owning it, but... I don't know, I get really caught up in what <laughs> beauty influencers say sometimes, and people were raving about this. And I mean, it is good. It looks really good with my foundation. Um, it looks really, like, smooth, and it, it looks, like, radiant, and it, it's tacky. It feels good on your skin, but it is not. I mean, my makeup still came off after, like, I don't know, like, four or five hours, it would start to, like, come out just like a normal, any other primer. Um, it's not, it looks good, but it's not worth $200. I'm sorry, I just, I don't think it is. I actually have fallen, like, way more in love. I haven't even been using this, but this is good. If we're doing a dewy finish, this is a good primer. Um, these, this little $25 bottle of, I can't get the light to get 
of the unicorn essence, the unicorn drops. These have been, I like these better. I feel like my foundation stays on longer. It smells fantastic. I'm gonna put both on because why not? Who's gonna stop me? Um, they say you can mix this in with your foundation too to give you like a dewy kind of finish, but I have not tried that before and this is not a first impressions video. This is how to get a dewy luminous skin, no, face of foundation. Um, but yeah, I, I would recommend this over the Sicily. Um, Becca also makes really good, their backlight primers are really good. I mean, if you want, if you like want like a really nice makeup product, a really nice primer and you want to splurge and you have the money, I'm not going to say it's a bad primer. It's not a bad primer. Go ahead and get it, but it's not, if you're just like, well, I just need a good primer and I don't want to spend $200, don't spend $200 because it's not worth it. I need a sponge. Hold on. And now I'm wetting the sponge. Sometimes when I wet my makeup sponges, I think about that scene in the Green Mile. I don't know if you guys have ever seen it, where he's like, "You didn't wet the sponge," because he like they. Uh, well, it's actually a very morbid story because they like el electrocuted a man in the chair. They didn't wet the sponge on his head, and he's like. How could you not wet the sponge? And that's how I feel when I'm like, dude, I'm like, don't forget. I don't know. I'm, I'm an idiot. Um, you know the sponge is supposed to be wet. I'm gonna go in with the Dior Forever, um, Dior Forever Foundation in 025. That is my shade. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on the back of my hand. This foundation, you need. I normally need like two maybe three pumps of foundation this one i definitely always need four it's kind of more of a buildable foundation which i like that it doesn't go on super thick and goopy um but just a heads up and i do i love the finish on this i think it's it looks fresh it looks young it doesn't look cakey it has like radiance it has radiance not like radiance um and I also, I sprayed my beauty sponge with the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist. If you really want dewy, luminous skin, that thing is going to be your best friend. You can spray it on afterwards as, I mean, it's not going to be a setting spray in the sense that it's going to make your makeup last longer, but a setting spray if you just kind of want to go over and perfect everything and add that extra shit. Um, and I like to mix it in with my foundation as well. I'm a really big fan of mixing um, luminizing, moisturizing, anything in with my foundation, cause I just, it's not enough for me regularly, I don't know, and I don't know, I, my skin is a little difficult, and not all foundations settle on it well, but when I do, when I mix oil, when I mix a, um, luminizing spray, um, Max Fix, Mac Fix Plus, not Max Fix, I don't know who Max Fix Plus is, um, it just goes on a lot better. I like the finish a lot better and it stays on and it doesn't cake up and that's just what I like to do for my dewy luminous skin. Um, so as you can see it's drying. It doesn't look oily but it looks like it looks fresh. It has a sheen to it. Um, I have before gone a little crazy with this stuff where I like will put it mix it with my foundation and I'll put on like too much of it afterwards and I'll put on highlighter and I'll put on everything and sometimes it's like whoa I'm a little I'm a little too dewy like I literally look like I just slept in the grass last night and a layer of dew formed upon my face which is extreme and weird um okay so we got the foundation down we're gonna go in oh my god did I not bring my I'm gonna go get my concealer Okay, and then just adding concealer, I mean, I just always add concealer because I just need all the help I can get. I have really bad under eye circles, especially this morning. This morning they were, 
I looked scary when I woke up. Um, excuse me. Um, I'll do the same thing. I can see in the webcam that I'm running out of this, which gives me anxiety. Um, so yeah, and this is also just going to help to brighten up the complexion even more. Which is good. That is what we want. And it adds dimension to the face. It's going to kind of bring out parts that are meant to be brought out more. So it's not just this two-dimensional foundation face. There's going to be your under eye is going to pop. And your nose is going to come forward. And your chin and right here, which will make your lips look bigger. It's It looks better. Um... I'm just going to keep patting that in there. I did my eye makeup first today because I guess that's what you're supposed to do. I, I don't know. It feels like wearing like a hat on my butt or something. It just feels backwards. It feels wrong to me. I don't like doing it first. Um, but, you know, it's what they say you're supposed to do. After the massacre yesterday with the winged eyeliner, I was like, hmm, that wouldn't be a bad idea. Because then if you mess up, you can just kind of wipe it off with a makeup wipe. Like, if some you get some fallout on your face, just wipe it off. Like, it's not, you don't have to restart. Because yesterday I had to wipe it all off and I just had, like, no makeup right here. And then I had to, like, redo that and it was weird and it didn't match the rest of the makeup. And so I was like... Alright, today we're going to give this a try. Ooh, I'm sorry about my incredibly chapped lips. That was startling. Um, so we're also, as well as under the eye, going to do a little right here on the forehead. Just kind of bring some dimension there on the nose. Highlighting the center of the face is just going to bring it all together. So you don't just have like a flat face and then... Boom, under eyes. Like, this is just going to bring a lot more dimension to it. It's going to make it look a lot more natural. This obviously isn't natural. But we, we can sort of trick people. So we're just going to go ahead and just pat that in, just like we have everything else, with the Tatcha Dewy Luminous Skin Mist sprayed on the sponge. I like to use a sponge better for applying concealer and foundation because it just... You don't lose any product. Like, it doesn't drag it around. You're not going to have little brush strokes on your face. Like, it just pats it in and then it absorbs the extra that you don't need. So, you just kind of get this flawless airbrushed finish. I'll go ahead and finish patting that in there. And always also make sure, I mean, this is my concealer, but make sure that you're bringing everything down onto the neck all the way to the hairline even onto the ear because you don't want this stark line of foundation and then natural skin that is not a look that anybody wants um so just don't do it did i not bring my powder i am so sorry you guys i am here i just woke up i'm sorry rmca no color setting powder we have determined that it does do a flashback so if you're getting pictures taken Choose a different powder. Cover FX, for instance, does not have talc in it and will not give you flashback at all. I think Laura Mercier, too, is a good one. Or if you're getting pictures taken. I've never personally used it, though. So we're just taking this brush that I use for everything, even though you're not supposed to. The Contour and Glow brush by Tarte. I love this brush. I use it a lot. I'm um, just going to pat off the excess. We are not going to bake today because baking kind of mattifies the skin and we are not going for matte we are going for dewy luminous just bling diamond skin diamond skin is what we're looking for so no baking we're just gonna set the face because we don't want this to sweat off my face the second i leave the house we're just gonna lightly set it Make sure you set the under eye because we know, we know the under eye likes to move around. So we'll go up the nose. These are places I would normally bake because they break up faster. The forehead right here, right there. Alright. And that's that part. Um, 
Okay, I forgot what came next for a second. Um, so we're just going to add a little bit of contour and highlight. I don't contour and highlight a ton because my face is already really like, you can see it has natural contours. Like, look at that shape. And if I contour, I sometimes look like just like Dallas Buyers Club. Like, I look sick and gaunt and it is not a good look so I'm just gonna do it very lightly obviously I don't have my contour here because by that I mean bronzer because I'm just a mess this morning so I'm going to come back okay Hula bronzer by benefit I'm sure you guys have heard of this if you watch a lot of tutorials which in order to find my tutorial, I feel like you had to have watched a lot of tutorials because that's the wrong end. Um, so I'm going to use the bigger side of this brush. This is a bronzer brush. Um, it's bigger but with shorter, denser kind of bristles. I'm going to tap off the excess. But yeah, a lot of people use Hoola. It's kind of a universally flattering shade. It's not too warm, not too cool. It has like here I'll show you guys it's a pretty neutral bronzy shade so it looks good on almost everyone so I've got it on my brush and I'm gonna go in you guys can see where the cheekbone is here I contour a little high so it makes me look a little less sick and I'm gonna go from here to the end of my eyebrows so I'm just, or my eye actually I'm just gonna do a little little line there and I'm just gonna buff it out blend it in Oh yeah, there it is. Um, so as you can see, just a very faint contour for me because I just don't want to look sickly, which I do when I contour. Um, I'm just going to do it on the other side. Okay. You can also bring it up onto your forehead here. It's supposed to be like two backwards G's like a Gucci logo kind of um I don't like to do that too much because of the Dallas Buyers Club situation but I'll just show you you would just do it like right around here like around your hairline and you could come in a little you're going to bronze or contour everything you want to go back and highlight everything you want to pop out so you're going to want to highlight like inner corners right here under eye right here to make your lips look bigger your nose center of your forehead cheekbones some people like to highlight their chin I don't want my chin to look bigger so I do not um you need to be aware though that anything that you highlight is going to show texture more it's going to stand out more so like I have like some pimples right here so I'm not gonna highlight a ton because I don't want to bring attention to those. I'm just going to do a tiny little. And same thing. We're going to go kind of where that natural sheen is. Like right there. And we're going to go like a, right on the cheekbone. And right to the end of the eye right there. Some people go in further. But I do not. See that natural sheen. And then just right there. And we're going to use a smaller end of the brush do the highlighting and some of those go in with the bigger end and just kind of blend it all I'm not gonna use blush today because I don't like blush that much and then I just like to do a little pew on the tip of my nose and a little right there because that's gonna make your lips look bigger and why not I really like to go in right there too and just do a little inner corner highlight with my giant brush okay so we did that that's all the powder no it's not this is the Lancome Absolute Powder in Golden. This, it's not really a setting powder. It's not really a highlighter. It's somewhere in between, but it's just like a great last step for foundation. Like you've set the face already, but you just want to add this extra glow to it. This is the stuff I like to use. Um, don't use a ton of it because it it is kind of intense if you use a lot. I usually will mix it with a powdered foundation to kind of dull it down a little bit. Um, but this is the Dewy Luminous Skin video, so we're going to use it by itself. So I have some on the end of the brush. I'm going to tap it off just to be extra careful. 
and then I'm just gonna all over the whole face. It just adds this very subtle glow. Like it's not a highlight, but it adds a little like not even shimmer, just just a glow. Like I don't, it's hard to even describe, but it makes a big difference. So we're just gonna do. We're not doing that much. We're tapping it off. I'm gonna add it on the neck too, cause why not? Yeah, it just adds just this little extra je ne sais quoi, and it's a very beautiful powder, um, but use in moderation. Okay, so then we're all done with the face, with the foundation, the powders, we did a little contour and highlight. I'm just going to go back in and give it one more spray with the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to set it. God damn it. Did I forget my setting spray? I did. I don't even deserve to make YouTube videos. I just cannot keep it together this morning. So we'll just set it with the All Nighter Urban Decay Setting Spray. And just... And there we go. That is my dewy luminous glowing foundation routine. I hope that this works for you. I hope you found it helpful and I hope you will just go out and just shine bright like a diamond. Um, if you like this video, please like it below and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for tuning in. All right, bye.